There's a fish. Nice. I must want it slow because once I slowed it down, he hit right away. Very nice. It's a nice fish to start the day. Oh yeah. I'll probably put that one back. I'm using a swim bait from Jack's Official Tackle. I'll leave a link to his Instagram and uh, his website, but these swim baits are freaking sweet for fall. Like it's a big profile bait and I like using a big profile, especially in the fall because most of the times your bait fish are about this size. There's not a whole lot of small bait. These fish are really targeting these bigger bait right now and because there's really no small bait out there as far as like perch size and I don't know as much on a river, but definitely on a lake, I use, like using a bigger bait. I always like to start off big and then go down. I, I might have to go to a jig and minnow just because uh, the wind switched from the south to the north. So they might be a little finicky, but this is actually the first time I've used this and it is a freaking sweet bait. I got it probably a month ago, but I've, uh, I've kind of been saving it for the fall because I kind of figured it would be a good fall bait. Here's a bite. That might be a better fish. That one is right up in those rapids. Oh yeah. Give me a keeper. Nicest one of the day probably. Yeah, it's probably the size of the same size of the same one. That first one I caught. I'll probably start keeping them. I don't have much fish fish at all in the freezer, so. Sorry, buddy, you're going to be kept. These jigs are unbelievable. I think it's like the second day I've used these, the same one. <laughs> they are freaking stout. And we might be too small. Let's see if he's over. If he's 15, I'll keep him, but. Oh, he's right at 15. Whew. Get that brand new freaking stringer out. I don't think I've bought a new stringer in probably freaking seven years. I was overdue. Oh, shoot. Get to pick up the garbage. There we go. First one. Well, first keeper of the day. These hooks are just unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever fished the river and gotten out of that many snags and still have my hook stay in like the same position. That's pretty freaking cool. And that one big bite. be your big bite.
Nope, just a good eater. Oh dang it, I felt like a bigger one. Now they're both 15 incher though. Yeah, he might be a little smaller than that. They'll put him back. Man, that felt like a good bite too. I thought, oh, here's like a 18-19, the way it took it, but I guess not. We'll head over here. Sometimes just switching your angle can help on the river just with how you present your bait and the current and stuff. So sometimes just a little bit of a position to switch can help you out. Let's see if it pays off. Yep, right away I got hit. Yep. That's a nicer fish too. Oh yeah. No! It bit me off. Oh, no way. As I was saying it, like I said, just sometimes uh, changing your position, presenting a little bit better in this current can pay off and I do not know how that happened. I should have probably checked my knots as I was catching fish, but you might have just devoured it too, so oh dang it. I think I've caught about probably 50 walleye on that one jig of Maynard's tackle and usually, I, like I said before, I kind of get the cheapest stuff and I go through probably 8 to 10 jigs a day, so maybe it pays to use a little higher quality jig than what I was using before. Same thing as last time I was out here, uh, just an eighth ounce jig and using a little lighter ounce, that quarter just a little too heavy. I like pitching it in that heavier current and just letting the current do the work and putting it right in front of the fish's mouth. So I can't believe that was a nice fish too. Oh dang it. Probably an 18 incher. You win some, you lose some. Should check my knot. So I think we'll go try over here. <laughs> There's that first cast too. As soon as I switch spots. I think there's another fish. Yep. Yeah, all, that's all it took is just maybe a little position change. That's back to back asses now. That's a little nicer. That's probably a fifth, that's for sure a 15. And it could be a time of day thing, it is. The sun is going down, but. I think a lot of it had to do with just getting it in that seam right there and getting on them. Oh yeah, cookie cutter. And one I lost was for sure bigger, <laughs> but it was no giant, so. Not too, too big of heartburn. The other day I was here, it didn't really matter where you were at that in the slack water, but today it's for some reason they're right in that seam. And I'm too far left again, but I think one of the bigger reasons too why this seems a lot better is the other day I had, we had a lot of uh, wind and it was a kind of a side wind, so it just take my line and I think it's hard to present my bait in a nice way and it just kind of drifted back out in the heavy stuff so a lot of it 
current and wind how it deals with your line and stuff so so you want to present it in the way that the fish like it because if you're not getting bit they're like they're not liking something you're doing so but yeah always just switch it up if you're not catching fish and i mean i always tell people fishing is about the easiest thing to figure out if you're not catching fish you're not doing something they like so just switch it up a lot of people just get set in the same way and do things over and over and here's another bite there we go that's a nicer fish should be a keeper at least oh it's a bass dude chill A few smallies in here. Wouldn't mind if they're about four pounds, then it'd be kind of fun. But there's another bite. Same current theme. There we go. That's a nice little eye. There we go. Hell yeah. Probably a 16, 17 incher. There we go. Probably the biggest one of the day so far. I don't know what to do with all my old stringers. It feels freaking weird. Never had a white one. All right, let's get back in that seam because they are stacked up. I'm running out of my bigger minnows too, god dang it. Sometimes I'll double up if there's a couple small ones. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I just like having a little bit more on my hook. I like it for feel too. Oh, it just feels, you can feel more with more bait on. Oh yeah, that's the cast. Yep, there's a fish. Oh, I dropped it. Through this river stuff, I, I really like a shorter rod, like a six foot six. Um, I've had this Shields one rod for probably eight years. But yeah, it's just an extra fast tip and it's really easy to maneuver when you get close to the shoreline. You get a little longer rod, it gets kind of hard to land them. Um, I really like that shorter rod for that. And then for pitching, a lot of times you're only pitching 10 yards, just close quarters and you can just kind of flip it. And I got one right here. Yep, there we go. So yeah, just kind of nice having that shorter rod for like that, but. There we go. One more. This one should be 15. 
nothing for size really yet today, but there's a bunch of good eaters, so it's 15. Kind of skinny, but. So I'm not too picky on size right now. Just as long as they're good eaters and not under 15. Not much on a 14 inch river walleye. There we go. Uno mas. But yeah, it's pretty wild how much they're in that seam right now. And it took me a while to figure it out, but. Oh man, I just got smoked. That's a nicer fish. That's a nicer fish. That's about the size of the one I lost. There we go. That is a nice fish. Oh yeah. I'm sure that I'm gonna get bigger now that the sun's going down. God, that's a perfect eater. All right, there's my fifth one. Ooh, that's a nice fish. There we go. Heck of a fish. Nice. Probably another 19 incher. Blend on that one. Well, I think one on that one, that was a fun freaking day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, that was actually about 13 days ago, I think. And a lot has changed since then. Uh, we've had a lot of cold weather and a lot of the lakes have iced up. And, and I'm sure the water temp has dropped uh, pretty dramatically on the river. So I'm sure uh, the river bite is pretty much done unless it warms up crazy here in the next week. I've had a lot of good waterfall shoots in the last week. So I've been on vacation for about the last 14, 15 days. So I just got to get them uploaded, but there's a lot of good hunts here to come in the future that I'll be uploading. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye.